So there's a new rap star on the block, and she's been putting pressure on the game. Her name is Lola Brooke, and despite being in the early stages of her career, Lola has already made some impressive milestones. From her viral songs to performing at shows and music festivals, she's making waves in the industry. The Brooklyn, New York rapper has managed to capture the attention of people with her unique vocal delivery and energy. Lola has songs that have gone viral, from her features and remixes with artists like Lotto, Ciara, and more. Her activity and work ethic has quickly added even more steam to her campaign. Lola Brooks says she draws inspiration from rap legends like Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, and Meek Mill. She also looks up to iconic women in rap such as Missy Elliott and Foxy Brown, who some have compared her flow to. As Lola Brooke continues to make waves in the industry, she has been acknowledged for her talent and contribution. The rapper's work on her debut project has earned her a nomination for Best Breakthrough Hip Hop Artist at this year's BET Hip Hop Awards. She was one of the XXL freshmen of 2023 and has been recognized by many other established music entities. For Lola, writing music is a form of expression. Her songs often stem from personal diary and journal entries, giving her an outlet to share thoughts and experiences that she may not be comfortable discussing in conversations. She says this approach resonates with the audience and adds depth to her music. She acknowledges that every artist's journey takes time and she embraces the process fully. Check me out. I don't need to get my body done, right? No. Oh, I'm sorry, what? What up? Oh my god, you need to do that in here. What up? Yo, I'm a fucking pit bull in a fucking skirt. I'm doing the things that I like to do. Like, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hold on. I'm doing the things that I like to do and I'm doing it. Lola Brooke gives the credit to her mother as being a driving force behind her work ethic though. Growing up, she witnessed her mother's resilience and determination as a single parent working multiple jobs. This first-hand experience instilled in Lola a genuine work ethic and a never-take-no attitude that pushed her to chase her dreams. She's released several hits including Don't Play With It, So Disrespectful, and Just Relax, and now she has released her newest single, You, featuring Bryson Tiller. Drawing inspiration from the legendary Foxy Brown's Get Me Home, Lola puts her own spin on it that still keeps it all Brooklyn. While Lola has released several impressive singles, fans are waiting on a full project from the Brooklyn Princess. Oh, 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 this is the last day of the tour. Last day, we outside. We outside, man. we doing the things we like to do, and your boy selling out tickets on a regular. This shit is regular for you, right? We from New York. This shit we from New York, you heard? This shit what you right say? Can I, can I get a yeah? Can I get a yeah? The rapper Callie from Roswell, Georgia, is an artist who came on the scene and is giving the impression that she's going to be around for a while. Callie has quickly gained popularity through social media, particularly on TikTok. Her journey from TikTok to mainstream is impressive. At an early age, she learned how to write music, which would eventually help her out in the long run. 
Fast forward to the beginnings of her rap career, she was found to have a talent for wordplay and a knack for creating catchy hooks. In November 2020, Callie's track Do A Bitch went crazy on TikTok. The catchy beat and lyrics caught on with the users and gained her a devoted fan base that was waiting to see what's next. What's up, y'all? It's day one of um, New York Fashion Week for me. Um, I'm performing and I'm walking and I'm performing. I'm opening and I'm, and I'm the finale. I'm nervous. After the success of Do A Bitch, Callie released her debut mixtape, This Why They Mad Now, in 2021. The mixtape featured a remix of her breakthrough song with rapper Rico Nasty, further solidifying her presence in the rap scene. Callie continued to collaborate with more notable artists like Lotto, Moneybag Yo, and Saucy Santana, showcasing her versatility and ability to present different styles. Callie draws inspiration from rappers like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, as well as R&B icon Aaliyah. Her music is a blend of hip hop and trap, but with a sound that is uniquely hers, her mixtapes, This Why They Mad Now, and Toxic Chocolate, as well as her singles have been keeping her busy and booked up. Stuff I don't need, but I'm a kid. One way, like, hey, don't pay me. Don't do just what I said. After her single, Mm-hmm, and the success of the song, Area Codes, which people thought she was lying about when she said she never heard the song by Ludacris, she let it be known that she was born in the year 2000. She recently signed a global management deal with the company, joining a roster that includes superstars like Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. This collaboration is sure to pave the way for bigger projects in the future. Callie has been doing countless shows and appearances, as well as doing a 13-date tour across the United States with A Boogie Wit Da Hoodie. And let's not forget her collaboration with K-pop group 5050 for the Barbie soundtrack. As of right now, it looks like Callie is making all the right moves to solidify her place in the industry. Very iconic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen. Like, Born in that warmest, lyric. Yesterday's yeah, price, not today's price. For sure, for sure. Now, yeah, today's yeah, price is the new one. This is the hit. I gotta say the name right though. It's not Kelly's price. I gotta sing it. Kelly. 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 There's a rapper from the streets of St. Louis that has took over the game. Not literally, but she's definitely on the rise when you're measuring popularity and success. The St. Louis, based rapper Sexy Red, is quickly becoming the hottest thing in the industry, and she knows it. With a unique style, unapologetic lyrics, and an unconventional approach, she is redefining what it means to be a rapper in today's music scene. Sexy Red is from the north side of St. Louis, where she describes her early years as fun, but as she got older, things took a more serious turn. St. Louis, she says, is like the Wild West, a place where you need to be tough to survive. However, amidst the challenges, she found music. Red's journey into the rap scene really was unexpected. It all started when the father of Red's son cheated on her, which led to put her frustrations and her emotions into the music. Surprisingly, her diss song to her ex-boyfriend caught a lot of attention, and really the rest was history. What sets Sexy Red apart from the rest is her distinctive style and appeal. Growing up on a steady diet of hood music from artists like Lil Wayne, Juicy J, and Gucci Man, Red developed her own flow. Sexy Red's talents lies in her ability to create captivating hooks and melodies that allows her fans to sing along and actively participate. She doesn't have the traditional lyrics or singing style of some of the other rappers. She instead gives her listeners a heavy dose of music that pushes boundaries. <laughs> We're going to Pound Town. 
In January 2023, Sexy Red took off with her breakthrough single, Pound Town, produced by Tay Keith. The track became an instant hit worldwide. Following the success of Pound Town, Sexy Red collaborated with industry heavyweights such as Nicki Minaj, NLE Choppa, and Young Nudie. Her versatility as an artist was on display as she effortlessly transitioned between various collaborations and remixes. These projects not only expanded her fan base, but also showcased her ability to hold her own alongside established artists. Red's hard work provided her with success in the release of her second mixtape, Hood Hottest Princess. The project was well received and put her in position to be a rising star in the industry. With her latest tracks being played on the airwaves, clubs, and even throughout the sports world at games and in Lorca rooms, Red has paved a lane for herself that has the streets and industry folks always speaking her name, no matter the topic being good or bad. Her chart success speaks for itself with multiple entries on the Billboard 200 and Hot 100 charts. Songs like Pound Town 2 and Ski Yi have garnered widespread attention and continue to gain momentum. Despite controversies and surprising moves, it is undeniable that Sexy Red's on the rise. Shake that ass, ho! Shake that ass!